blazing trails, you know how Johnny moves Young black mama dropping the hottest news Like some mad attorney calling audibles When it's my set, I don't know how I'ma lose Keep it a hundred, we from the 90s dude Freshest podcast out, we on the grind for you Stuck on your head all day, Gorilla Glue Huh. They think they really gon' out me Pull up with the big tech Call it Silicon Valley Made it through a dark winter It was getting so cloudy Now we got the sickest show In the whole county Test me. It's a cold world Better bundle up Gotta get the shovel when the truck is stuck In the middle of a blizzard Still coming up Tuning in just so I know what is up It's the Cloud Chronicles What up, world? We are back. This is another episode of the Cloud Chronicles, man. I'm your host, Johnny Blaze, man. I got a super, super special guest. Uh, he chilling in the cut with me right now, man. We we, we still making still uh, making things happen, though, man. Uh, a lot of you may know him. He's out there. Uh, if you're in the Bay, you may know him. If you're in the West Coast, you may know him. Worldwide, though, he is a uh, artist. He's he does artist development. He also does um, artist management as well. This is Young Freeway, Jr. Jay Ross, I'm sorry. Young Freeway Jay Ross in the building with me one time. So I want y'all to clap it up one time for Young Freeway Jay Ross in the building. Man. I appreciate you having me back. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you there? Hey, what's up, man? 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 What's up, um, born and raised in, in LA, <clears throat> been all over California. Um, so, you know, I'm West Coast based. Um, so like you said, I do artist development. Um, I deal with a lot of producers, engineers, um, artists, and <clears throat> photographers, videographers, you know, the whole line. So well, you, you hands on with a lot of shit, man. You ain't just just writing rhymes. Yeah, so I, I really, like, I really don't actually write. I just do mostly development and management for, uh, I manage a few people you know, that I've been knowing for a while, you know, helping with their music and just giving them, you know, my opinions on this as far as, you know, where we come from and, you know, the whole get down. So, you know, I haven't really picked up new artists. Uh, my dad I, works with a few people and I kind of, you know, work okay. with them. I don't want to interrupt you, but I know who dad is. So I want you to tell him who dad is, though. Not to name drop, but we name drop it. Yeah, yeah somebody, uh, the real Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great Rick Ross. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, he saw crack in the 80s. Did a lot of time, got out, rehabilitated, reformed, and uh, you know, doing positive stuff in the community now. So, you know, here we are now. Cannabis. Yeah, to LA Kingpins, man. Yeah, much love. Appreciate you. Um, LA Kingpins, our cannabis company, you know, cannabis flower concentrates, working on the gummies and also the the spa stuff. Um, we also have a few partners and we work with. with Cannabis Spa Magazine and uh, Eddie Lab, uh, Care Company. So there's like we you know we have a, a nice list of people that we work with that we you know that we that treat us right and we treat them right. You know so yeah. I had uh I had Lamar man a few weeks ago. Um, he told he was talking about a lot about it and everything man. You know shout out to Lamar. He put me in touch with you, you know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Yeah, Hell yeah. So um, so how's the new year been out there, man? Um uh, out there in the Bay Area with this with this. LA. Um <clears throat> uh, it's been it's been all right, you know. It's been opening and closing and you know, we kinda it's not really that bad. Nice sunshine and you know, everything is it is what it is. Um, all right you back you, know, you back and froze up for a sec go ahead yeah so you know it's just it, everything oh, there you go. it is what it is we just you know we here growing working people out Hello? here you know working growing yeah, 
waiting for oh, okay. for their stuff to open. So you know. Yeah. Um. So uh. Huh? Did you hear my question before we lost you for a second? About no, uh, how. Okay. Okay. What I was asking you is um. How is like the pandemic and all that shit like you know the how has that affected your business at like a bit ability to move out there? You know what I'm saying? Um well I obviously there's terms and regulations with COVID, so you know, we just have to operate with that, but it slows us down because of um the capacity, you know. So um <clears throat> it's just a, a road, a speed bump that's in the way a little, but you know nothing that we can't get through as a people and as a business you know so. is it so is it on lockdown lockdown out there because you know i keep hearing they talk about the they talk about the south man they keep saying we wide open y'all i mean lock. yeah you guys got clubs popping and stuff bars we don't have bar clubs so um you know they really do raid large um gatherings and stuff like that um, some people get arrested, some don't, whatever, but, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of, you guys got a different, a different atmosphere for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you something on the artist, um, the artist management and the artist development side. Um, is there anybody you're working with right now that you kind of want to tell people to look out for? Or... Yeah. I'm working with Pablo Escobar Jr. Okay. Um, okay. Working with Young Lynx. And um, they've both been in the industry and, you know, they've been working and, um, you know, they've been putting a little bit of stuff out. So, you know, we're, you know, we've been talking about new stuff and, you know, they're gonna, they, everything, you know, the way that they get released is, is going to be, you know, different just because, you know, they've been developing all this stuff over the years and only putting out just a little bit, you know? So, yeah, <clears throat> yeah just them two, look out for them. Uh, I'm working with a couple people, with my dad, um, Bossy. Um, yeah, you know, we, we working, we working. Yeah, now that label, what label is that, are the, the, that under? Um, so they're not under labels, you know, okay. most of them are independent. And, you know, we just working on our own. And uh, um, my dad does have a label. It's, um, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, he had like a couple of them started. So. I think Lamar sent me a flyer on that. I can't remember because I had asked him about it too. I can't yeah. Remember what it with it, we have Freeway Enterprise and there's like different branches to it, you yeah, know? Right, right, right. Y'all, y'all, y'all expanding, man. Y'all touching a little bit of everything, man. That's good. Yeah, well, you know, my dad's a hustler, so right, facts, facts. He he comes home and he just grabs his whatever he can to make money and like tries to teach, you know, those around him how to you know succeed with it. And, you know, that's all that's all it is. So it's like, you know, use the tools around you to succeed and succeed. And I see that that that's rubbed off on you, huh? You have uh -huh. no choice. Uh, shit, I guess. I mean, my mom was a, you know, my mom was a, a hustler too, in her, in her sort. So, okay. you know, it was all like, you know, life, life draws you to things that you are, you know, the circumstances that either you put you yourself through, or you know, life put you through. So, so tell me a little bit, like, how was that growing up? You know, with uh, a father such as yours, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he was in jail most of my time, my life. So it was like, I didn't, I didn't know who he was. So I was 10. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> like I was, when I was, you know, 10 going on 11, um, I didn't know who he was. Like, you know, I knew his name and all that, but I didn't know yeah. the, what the status or the statue that he was. And then, you know, I met him. Um, we com started communicating in my teens. Um, like phone calls and uh, letters and then email later on in high school when the feds approved it. And then uh, I visited him when I was 18. Uh, and then we met on the streets when I was 23. 
So it was, you know, it was like all those years I got to learn new stuff about them and kind of like, damn, what, you know, like my life. But yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was a lot. It, you know, it had me going in different places. So. Yeah, because I mean, I know people was coming up to you, man, like, nigga, you know who your daddy is? And, you know, I mean, I'm sure you heard that shit like at least 10 times a day. Yeah, I've heard people, you know, say stuff. And then, like, I'm like, okay, you're like, yeah, it makes sense. And then they say some, like, one part be wrong. And I'm like, they don't know. Yeah, don't know. yeah. you don't want to fact check. You ain't got time to fact check everybody. But, like, no, I just know if somebody say something wrong, then it's wrong, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, that's right. You come around and you're like, man, I know this and that and that and this. And, you know, and, like, you know, most people talk and they talk uh, sometimes too much. Right. Or not. You know, and then it's like, you know, they end up, if they know everything, they're going to say enough. They're going to say everything they say is going to be, you know, if they're talking too much, they're going to say everything. And when yeah. I talk, enough, you know, then you know, they're going to be straight. But it's like, some people be like, you know, they they go and they say the wrong stuff in the middle. Of it, and I'll be like, just that little, like that one name or, you know, that one situation like yeah. that like I, you don't really know the story you know you just heard or was told so yeah you getting like the watered down version yeah. years old and done, been lost in translation and shit yeah i mean because like i have a lot of cousins that i don't know you know right so right. sometimes they talk to me and they be like oh i'm your cousin and then they like you know they explain to me like the whole like the tree you know and, like, you know, I believe them, you know, to the degrees and, and all that, you know, and like I've met certain family through that and, you know, so yeah. it's just, you know, I study people to like, just to live, you know, it's like you gotta know what's around you to live, so. Right, right, and then, and then, you know, being who your dad is, you know, people come up to you all the time Oh yeah, I'm this person. I'm that person. Thinking, you know what I'm saying? Off the muscle, you gonna help them out or do whatever they may. You know what I'm saying? Or just let you hang around them or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really tripping on that. I'm like a nice, I'm a nice person. You know, I'd be pretty busy most of the time, like around doing all kind of stuff. No, but you know, once the Somebody the world the opened up. We're like, like we're doing like we're my artists. We're doing right shows. You know, we're we're doing parties, so these events. You know, okay, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. So, let's say the world opens up next week. What is what's your normal day look like? So for me, like you know, I get no up. No restrictions early. on the world. It's open. It's open. I'm getting up early and um, you know, answering calls. You know taking care of a few things, probably run a few errands, check on, you know, when I get up early, you know, I check on all my boys and check on everybody because I'm up or most of everybody get up. So, you know, when they get up, they, they, they hit me like, yo, you know, what's up with it? You know, so, you know, every day be different for the most part. Um, I might hit a, you know, a fashion, you know, my boy fashion design studio you know with, with with one of my guys or by myself you know this is this is my boy stuff you know and okay okay that's what's up. i just go you know i could go over there and brainstorm you know uh come up with some designs with them you know you have some stuff sewn printed whatever you know so every day is all almost pretty much different you know the artists when my, when my boys get here depending on you know we we you know we uh, be, uh, our shows, we would, we would be setting them up. They'd be, you know, promoted for at least, you know, two months. Give everybody a head up, you know, where we're going to be at and how it's going to be. And, you know, the, and everything we do is going to be fun. And, and you know, we're going to do, you know, it's all everybody welcome, you know. Um, so, you know, it's just every day going to be different. But. You know, we have a dispensary. We do pop ups at you know the dispensaries where we selling our cannabis product. You know. Yeah, yeah. Talk about the dispensary, man. Talk about that for the people that don't know. 
Um, yeah, we we're, we're still developing it. COVID slowed everything down. But yeah, we'll mess around the west west side of LA. Um, I don't know exactly how the address right now. But um, yeah, that's in, in works um, through the social equity program, which a lot of the states that are not um, that are not legal right now are, are going to end up following. So, you know, everybody that's minorities or, you know, qualify for social equity situations you know, look into it, get on top of it, before, you know, right now. So, you know, you can be involved with writing the, with the laws in your state when they happen, when the state says, okay, we're going to legalize it. And you can be, you know, well, we already have social equity, you know, uh, program set up for when they legalize it. They're, you know, as it's legalized, it can be put into the proper um, procedures. So, yeah. That's that's big too, man. I mean, I, I, especially down here, uh, there's not a lot of programs to educate people on. Yeah, you know, saying the steps they need to take now. Before. Well, Texas is gonna be a large, like Texas is gonna be a large industrial, um, like it's gonna be an industrial, like uh, uh, I would say, demographic geography or you know, um, population. They're gonna be more industrial, you know. Um, yeah, it's gonna. That's what it's gonna be. End up gonna be. It. I mean, not end up like it's a bad thing, but that's what it needs to be because Texas is so big and like Texas could take care of the world if it grew hemp and you know processed it right and you know filtered it right and you know got treated it right. You know, bro, I'm in the country, man. I live out in the country. Yeah. yeah. Is space and space and space and space and space and space. If you got once that shit get legal, you come down here, get you an acre or two, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. It's like with the indoor growth, it's simple too. You know, you just find a building mm -hmm. with the you know the right um the right structures, um, you know, and you can build a whole indoor grow and grow indoor, you know. Source your seeds, source your genetics, try to find, you know, the best genetics, have a, uh, a master grower, you know, that's growing for a long time that can that you're not producing, you know, or if that's what you are, master grower, and you produce, you know, that's that's what it is, you know, and that's, a, you know, a little bit more cost, you know, but it pushes out more to once you process it properly, you know, it's all about your procedures, you know, everybody knows. When you start a business, most businesses, I was I would, I would put the business range in a 90 percentile range and 90 percent business of the businesses that you start, you need you you basically need to put money into it to start it. Like you, right, right. But the business gets, is in puts you in debt or, you know, it takes, you know, uh, it, become, it takes some assets, you, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. A you know, it's not a liability, a liability because it's the beginning, you know, it's the start. So But you're gonna I, be in a hole that first year or two. You're gonna be in the hole when you start a business that first year. Exactly. Like you know, you're gonna you're gonna you're you're gonna have to put some some output to get the input. So you know, it's, it's it doesn't have it doesn't necessarily have to be like a debt or you know, it just it's just a you know, it's this the procedure, the beginning, the step, right. like put in port. <laughs> so yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, man. Um, okay, so before I let you get out of here, man, I know you I know you got some live stuff to do, man. I got the lightning round of the interview. Uh this is just um just some freestyle funky questions, man. Just a little this or that. This stuff I haven't prepped you for. It ain't nothing personal though, so don't worry about it. It's just all fun and games, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Nothing but peace and good vibes here. All right, man. Here go lightning round. Here we go. Uh, first question: um, Hot or cold? Hot or cold? Hot or cold? Hot or cold? Mm. Mm -hmm. I would say. Oh, what to drinking? No, like weather, like I mean, well, well, hold on. Actually, actually, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna help you out. You tell me. <laughs> Usually, I say the weather. You feel me? Uh, Usually, I uh, like 
Um, Are you a hot weather, hot or cold weather type person? You know what I'm saying? I, I like hot weather because okay. cold, cold weather, like that shit dries my skin and all that hell <laughs> shit. I like, I like uh, drinks. I can go, you know, hot or cold, depending okay. on what. Uh, all right. So let's say, let's say you just won the lottery. What's the first thing you buy? Mm, if I want first thing I want to see now, it depends on what lottery. I, okay, see you, got, I, you, you just want a hundred mil. You want a hundred mil. Oh, if I if I win a hundred million, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go buy some cars. Okay. Okay, that's good. Whips, whips. Okay, finish this sentence. What's the first thing? Uh, or well, actually, it's two. I'll, I'll ask you the second one first. All right. Uh, what's the first thing you think about in the morning when you get up? Hmm. Uh, I think <laughs> I think about my son because he okay. be kicking. That's what I've been thinking about lately. Yeah, uh, him kicking me. My little my little one. He froze again, huh? Hello. Hey. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. So next question. Here you go. So if you could have any superpower in the world, what would it be? Any why? super. Any, any superpower. Uh. Low key. Yeah. If I had any superpower. I want to be just like, like I I would I don't want like the that big old mastermind brain, but like I want the mega mind. You don't want the mega mind, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I'll take that. You want to be like super smart. Yeah, I'll take I uh, I take you know I take that uh like have you you know who the Watchman? Yes, yes. Like his his power. You talking about the uh, the blue dude? The blue guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was his name? Doctor, Doctor, Doctor October or something like that. Mr. November, some shit. I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I ain't never had nobody say that. That's a good ass pick right there. I ain't had nobody say that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know his power is. I just know he got like his brain. He he like he's he's so he's so smart that he knows like how to man, like manipulate all the atoms and all the molecules. Yeah. And, like, but he then. And in time, and like he's his mind is so like he's so smart. Like, it's it's like he took that pill in Limitless. Yeah, he done un un untapped. He done unlocked the rest of his brain. You know how we only use like two percent. This nigga operating on ninety nine on us. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Okay, okay. Ninja Turtles or Power Rangers? Ninja Turtles. Okay, quick with it. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it real. Ninja Turtles. That's what I'm talking about. Um. If you could smoke with anybody, dead or alive, who would you pick? Shit. I smoke with my girl. Okay. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. All right. Yeah, we ain't been we ain't been smoking a lot lately. I've been uh, I've been I smoke I smoke blunts she smoked she smoked le um i smoked leaves and she smoked she smoked um papers so oh okay okay yeah. yeah i feel you okay okay man all right all right man well that's it man you survived the lightning round like a champ man listen man i want to appreciate it uh appreciate you for you know taking the time i know you're busy man thanks man for joining us today on the cloud chronicles um if there is anything uh any shot it's time for shout outs man if you got any shout outs you want to give uh, anything you want to plug, merch, do that now, man. The floor is yours. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, uh, I just want to give a shout out to, to Lamar uh, bringing me on. We got the merch over there on Freeway Enterprise. Freeway Ricky, my bad, excuse me. FreewayRicky.com. That's where you can get the sweaters and the shirts. But you can hit me up personally on Instagram, YF underscore J Ross. And I can help you get it too. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of people. It's just it's, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> I feel you, I feel you. Like, saying you know, it's, 
like that. I, I'm like, <laughs> you don't want to leave nobody out. I feel you. I love everybody, you know. That's what's up. To a degree, you know. <laughs> you said to a degree. <laughs> I like how you slid that in. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. All right, man, I'm going to let you get up out of here, man. Hey, uh, hey. Uh, yep. uh, this is my boy, Young Freeway, J Rock, man, in the building, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for joining me, man. Um, tell him, uh, tell him one more time, man. Um, where did you get that gear from, man? And about the. Get that uh, gear from RayRicky.com. Sir. RayRicky.com. Y'all get those hoodies right there, man. I'm trying to get mine too, man. I need to buy that tomorrow, my day. But yeah, man, this has been another episode of the Cloud Chronicles, man. You see it, we're doing big things, man. This is 2021. Everybody, uh, like I always like to say at the end of the episode, take care of this. Mental health is real. Uh, you take care of this, it'll take care of you. Yeah. Peace, good vibes, namaste. Tell somebody you love them. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get through this together. Peace, it's Cloud Chronicles. I'm out. Peace.